Tyson. Tyson's a very suspicious, suspicious, he's a very skeptical guy. He's got a long history. If you watch the YouTube video that explains all of this, um, you'll, you'll learn about him. So I'm not going to go into any detail about him. So this is Katie's uncle. That's why they look so much alike. So see how he's kind of doing a little, that's what this horse does in his anxiety, okay? And then that'll es escalate to kind of tipping his chin to his chest. And then if he's really worked up, it'll escalate to a, a tremored pawing, okay? And that's his mercy, mercy. Kind of like what Katie did, but his is a little bit different than that. Okay, so in case you haven't seen the other two, the puzzle is, the comb behind us, I don't know if you can still see it, you have the space between these two cones. You have to ask your horse to cut across between the front of you and this cone, end up over here, tail facing that way, nose facing that way. You have to ask them to back. You cannot pass this cone. Back, you can get to that cone though. Back all the way past that last cone, and then you have to be able to communicate to them not to come forward, but to go out and around that cone. Then you have to be able to communicate, pause, come between the cones, pause, come between the cones, pause, come between you and the cone, and then out and around that last cone without you turning around and guiding them. Okay. So Tyson, I have to be quiet with my energy because Tyson can't uh, handle too much energy. It worries him just even just standing here right now. He's a little worried. Okay, so, oh. I don't know if I ever talked Honey over, over, did I ever teach it to you? I think so. Uh -uh, uh -uh. No, I don't think I ever talked Honey over, so I'm going to help him a little bit by just, You don't ever want to sour them from wanting good boy, from wanting them to do puzzles. Okay, so never like there's something about the puzzle, like there's an element of the puzzle that your horse actually doesn't know how to do yet. Don't teach them in the midst of the puzzle. Take them aside somewhere else, away from the puzzle, so that they don't make the connection that puzzles are scary. Okay, you don't want to do anything that could raise your energy or cause you frustration, it can scare your horse. You don't want any of that at your puzzle. You want to, the reason we're doing the puzzle is we're utilizing the language that they already know. So here he knows how to back up, here he knows how to send. He doesn't know how to over, and I don't know why I never taught him that, but I never taught him that because he's not a rideable horse. But again, go watch the first video, um, that the YouTube video that explains this puzzle, and I tell a whole long, see he's very jumpy. I tell a whole long story about him, so I'm not gonna get into it, but um, he's not rideable, he's never been rideable. Um, so I never had a reason to teach him to over to the mounting block, but now I know something that I need to teach him because that would help me just, that would have helped me just now, but now is not the time to teach that to him, or at least not at the puzzle. Okay, so I'm going to ask him to back, back, back. Some horses really need every piece. Don't make them guess. Good. 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 So I don't know if you can hear his breathing. His breathing is much different than a horse that is 
comfortable with different stuff. Okay, so the next phase of the puzzle would be instead of crossing in front of me and ending up over here, I'm going to have him go down to that center cone, side past that center. So I'm going to send him to that center cone, send his tail away. I don't know if you can hear him breathing. Send his tail away, have him side past that center cone, then come back up beside me, and then we're going to do the whole puzzle all over again. But this is just the newest beginning of it. So first to the center cone, send his tail away, back, 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 good. So now, uh-uh, nope, nope, loud, loud for the wrong answer, yep, quiet for the right answer. that's always worried, if your horse is always worried, then you want to make sure that you always tell them they did good, okay? It's important to them. He likes breath, so even that, giving him, letting him know that he's okay. And there's a misconception. People like say, oh, if you blow in a horse's nose, they love it. No, not blow in their nose. Just talk. Just talk softly. They love your breath, but if you blow in their nose, you're actually challenging them. Okay, back. Again, I can come to that first cone, back, back. Got your hair in my mouth, back, back, back. Ideally, I would like him against these cones, but now I want to send him, yep, I know. Yep. Nope. Back, 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 back. You missed it. So now I need, yep. So, like Katie asked for hugs. I don't know if you if you go back and watch Katie's video. She asked for hugs. You saw he just asked for breath. He might ask for breath again. So this is his. This is kind of like his uh, his scrap or his cookie. Um, it helps him. Okay. So just know what your horse needs from you as far as is um, reassurance. So that was my way of reassuring him. He did a good job. My breath. Katie's reassurance is she got her hug. Ritz's reassurance is a scratch. Logan, I'm not sure what he's gonna need from me, but we're gonna go ahead and get Logan. 